Have you ever wanted to see some ugly guy just hit bombs every time he steps up to the plate? If so, Stutroids is the man for you. He is 6'10 and hits the biggest bombs in the world. Just take a look for yourself. See what I mean? Massive bombs, my god. However, when Stutroids is juicing, you know, he'll just hit like these little shitty ass singles Man, nobody wants to see those but you know when he's extra juicing this is what he will actually do he'll just wait back of the pitcher get get gone that's what happens when he's extra juicing so you know since Stewart did so goddamn well in the rookie showcase or whatever that thing was nobody he didn't even care he wasn't even trying there he ended up going second round to the amazing best team ever First pick in the second round, Houston Astros. He has no idea why he went there. Not because he asked them that he will get a million dollars down in double A, but you know. So when Steroids first ever played appearance, not really, down in double A, he is waiting. He's wagging his arm back and forth, and he jacks one, but you know, it's foul because he's not used to seeing a 75 mile per hour change up. So as time went on, Steroids adjusted to the slowest pitching, and jacks one in the gap. But sadly, the outfielders in this fucking double-A game are so overpowered. So as Steroids thought about it, he thought that maybe not going for a deep fly ball is the best thing in this situation, with even with bases loaded. So he's like, fuck it, ground ball, because Steroids can do everything. He can hit it wherever he wants, how he wants to hit it, I don't know. But that that's his first ever RBIs in double-A. Good for you, Steroids. So since his first hit, Steroids feeling pretty confident that he can finally send one over the wall. So he goes for it again. That's not getting over the wall. He thinks maybe a triple or double, but wait, the outfielders are so good. So Steroids went back to his most confident stage in hitting the line drive singles or ground, dri ground ball singles. I don't know, but you know, he sees that's a hard hit one to the center field. He's like, I'm taking steroids. I could beat this one. And he's like, oh shit, no I can't. He uh, gets in a run now, he's just running back and forth. Steroids is one hell of a man. He's got much stamina and he gets faked out though. He's not the smartest though. He is fast though. So now, the pitchers are all in his hand, he can't think, he has his arm wagging, and he just jacks another one fellow back to where he started. What a fuck. So since Steroids wasn't getting that oomph he needed in his swing, he decided it's time for a change in the batting stance. He needs to go something very natural, nothing with any movement, just low hands, somewhat low hands, because he's so used to having his hands so low to his genital region, because he always has them down there every time he goes, fap, you know. So, yeah, he goes with this low swing, this low hands, quick swing, you know, just something that he can drive the ball because uh, he can't do it all with uh, steroids. He needs to have the stance also. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, the next day in warm-ups, he's trying out his new uh, stance and he jacks one over the fence. You know, he's like, yeah, the stance is working pretty much. Let's see how it does. So, you know, his first at bat with the new stance, he gets a pitchy legs. It's a shitty ass ground ball, but somehow it's just placed correctly that he gets a base hit. He scores the first every RBI with that stance. Good for him. And now Steroid is thinking, yeah, this stance is working. Let's see if my speed changed because I get faster out of the box. So now, you see the 6 foot 10, 280 pound man moving his legs super fast. He's already at second by the time the center fielder gets the ball. There's, there's no need to throw. He's already safe. Oh, wait. He's white. He's slow, he got thrown out at third. So now Steroids is like, man, after that great performance, I need to get moved up in the lot. They're like, sure, you can. So he goes to his next game, and you know what? Fuck it, you're not getting moved up. You're getting moved up to Triple A, not in the lineup. So after just four games in Double A, he gets called up to Triple A. This is the making of a legend here, ladies and gentlemen. So you know Stewart's coming into this game off a hot game last time down in double A and he jacked one over the sec shortstop. He already had a base hit today. He's having two. What a great performance in triple A. This dude needs to be in the majors by now. So after this one game in triple A, he's like, no, I want to be moved up in the lineup. The coach is like, I don't think you, you don't have it. You're bad. You don't get to. So since the coach said he was bad, he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to hit one so far out of the park. I don't even, I just want to watch it. I don't even need to. He throws his bat at the catcher, wipes his nose. Rallying first, he's like, fuck you, coach. I thought you said I was bad. And then he's like, hey, look, shortstop. Fuck you also, dad. Over at third base. What the fuck were you thinking having me down in the bottom of the line? I need to be the four hitter, he says. Fuck you, dad. So the next game, Steroids is like, yeah, I hit a home run. I don't need to juice. I'm pretty, I'm already juiced. But, you know, he doesn't have enough to get over 323. He only has 322 power. So, he needs more steroids. Yeah. 
So, it's his last about this game after not having enough power to send over the wall. He's like, screw it, my team's gonna lose or win, I don't know what's happening. He doesn't even pay attention to the score, and he just grounds out like a bitch. So, after that game, he was so sad that he went 0-3 because he had a home run the game before, but, you know, he got, he got drunk in a bar, and he got in a car accident. He lost all his legs, but luckily he was so fat enough that they cut off, they like sucked out all the fat and replace those le the fat as legs. His fat is now legs. Legs are fat. And, you know, the, his stomach became his legs. That's not, that, he's 5'5 five five now. There's nothing you can do. That's why you don't drink alcohol. He's still ugly, but just 5'5 five five now. So his first game is a little shrimp 5'5 five five bitch. He's like, I'm sad. I'm short now, but they probably don't think I can still hit bombs. Well, I'm going to prove them wrong. Midgets can hit bombs too in this league. I'll show them. Way over the fence. Fuck you, second baseman, for saying that I couldn't hit bombs even though I was short. You know what? Look. Fuck my dad. My dad even shrunk with me. That's really weird. Why are you 5'5 five five now, coach? Why? So even though that steroids hit a home run, he's like, I wasn't feeling comfortable. My hands were low, but it just, I didn't like standing up. I need to look like I broke my fucking legs. So I'm gonna go with this one, the ones that, like, because then they'll just give me pitches right over the middle, because they feel bad that a cripple's playing baseball. So they're like, oh, he's a cripple, let's give him a, a pitch right over the middle. He thinks he's a cripple because look at his legs, they're broken! So his first at bat is a crippled with those broken ass legs that aren't actually broken, it's just his batting stance. He's gonna hit one into the gap, and even though there's the dude in front of him, he's like, I'm fast. I may be short, but I, I'm quick. So I'm gonna be able to get to third, right? No, you're still white. You're not fast, man. Go back home, Stu. This pitcher felt so bad that he was pitching to a crippled that he just left one right over for Stu. This is what he Stu needed. That's what he was asking for. He hit this ball so far, he just tossed his bat again. He wiped his nose and threw... See, he's now cussing out... He's flipping off the crowd. He's doing the hail Hitler. He was hailing Hitler. He's even a Jew and he's hailing Hitler. What the fuck? Stu. Even though Stu Roots has just hit a home run that game, he still, the coach just still doesn't think that he should be moved up. What the fuck is wrong with the coach? So, the next game after he was rejected his call up in the lineup, he's like, fuck it, I'll just hit another home run and then cussed out my coaches on the way there. So he's rounding first and he's, he didn't even bother talking to the first baseman coach. Because, you know, he doesn't care about him. The one he does care is about his third base coach, because that's his dad. So he's like, fuck you dad, you didn't move me up in the lineup, what the hell, come on. So he just ran off the field. He didn't even touch home. What a what a man. So then his next at bat, he's like, you know what? I don't think I got through to my dad. I don't think I'm gonna be moved up in the lineup. I don't know why. I hit bombs. It's eleven to zero. I'll just do it again. Oh wait, that nope, nope, nope. That's not the pitch. I'll just cuss out the. You see, pitcher. Let I'm trying to get moved up in the lineup here. Okay. I will rape your family if you don't leave me one open. Okay. If I hit one over, you're free. I'm not gonna kill you. But if you do, I'm gonna fucking rape you. He even went to first person to say that. What the fuck is wrong with this stew? Oh, and the pitcher, of course, listens. Ah, oh, that was in the pitch, though. He listened. He gave one him one if he was 6'10", but he forgot he, he shrank in a car accident. So, next pitch. Oh, no. Stu's just shitty. I forgot. Pitcher's, pitcher doesn't want his family to get raped. He's leaving them over the plate, but Stu's just not able to hit one over. So he's just going to keep waiting. Oh, wait. There it is. He left him one over again three times in a row. Stu will not be raping the pitcher's family tonight. He's rounding second. He looks at his father. He's like, move me up in the lineup. God damn it, you dirty ape. So, you know, the next game Stu Roids plays is against the fucking RR team. I don't know what they are. Stu Roids, he's a pitch. He checks one deep. Going, going. It is caught at the wall. Yeah. Steroids kind of ran out of steroids that last game, so he couldn't have hit it over the wall. So, you know, next at bat, he's like, fuck you, pitcher. Leave me one over the plate. I will cuss out all your family. He's just staring at everyone. He's like, you see that? That's what I would do. And he hits a double play. Yeah, the steroids have really worn off on him.
Yeah. So, you know, he went over through that game. Not very happy about it. So, he went to the bar again and got drunk. This time, he got into another car accident. And the car kind of went into flames and he was in it. And he kind of became burnt as a crisp. So, yeah, he's, 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 he's a burnt piece of coal. That's what he is. He became black. But he's not really black. He's just burnt as fuck. He's so, like, yeah, that's the new steroids. Burnt motherfucker. Yeah. So his first game is a burnt piece of coal. Steroid steps out to the plate, cusses out the pitcher like he always does before he hits a bomb. And there it is. Tosses the bat, picks his nose, rubs it on the first base coach, and yeah. Starts cut giving that crowd the hail Hitler and starts cussing out all the players and coaches. We ask him why he's not batting higher in the order. Still, it's because he's black now, that's why. So after cussing out the coaches, it didn't really do him any good as he starts the game up with a fly out so yeah black piece of steroids not working after cussing out the coaches next at bat he's up again runner at first he sees a pigeon he grounds out looks like no he's about to get drunk again will he hmm probably knowing that steroids steroids make people drunk not really no it's just his emotions and third at bat grounds out again to the shortstop Umpire really expressing that he's out, going on one knee. What a dick. So, next to bat. First pitch, he just, no, uh, he drives one, but he kind of sucks because he ran out of steroids after because his coach cut him off of it. So, he goes 0 for 4 in that game. Goes back to the bar. Gets drunk again. And this time, once again, he gets in a car accident, but this time it's very bad. It's not like he lost his feet or legs or became black. His fucking face just went, what? His face just became a French dude. It literally looks like a French dude. Not to be racist, but it does. You'll see. You'll see. Well, you guys did say you wanted to see him, so this is what steroids look like. Burnt piece of coal that's a burnt piece of French coal or whatever i don't know he's a french man that's black and burnt and everything he's just been in so many car accidents so that's the final that's what steroids looks like rest in peace so after he became a french piece of coal or whatever he stares down the pitcher he starts cussing him out starts threatening him to rape his family and kill everyone in them and if he doesn't give him a home run looks down to the third base he's like I had sex with your sister, and then he looks down to the first base, he's like, same with you. First pitch the pitcher sees, he doesn't want his fam to be killed, so he leaves one over for steroids, and steroids just jacks one out of the park. This is how steroids hit bombs, just by threatening the pitcher. So it's just another ordinary day, another day of playing baseball for steroids. He threatens the pitcher, the pitcher leaves another one. Just, what, what, why even pitch to this dude? He's hit bombs, and he's only played like 12 games. He already has 13 home runs or something. Damn. Next at bat, he already has two ribbies in. You know, pitcher's being a dumb coward, leaving a crippled a pitch to drive, and he does it again. Same spot, same child getting the ball. Steroids is a real gentleman. So Steroids first ever time going out in left field because he always made someone on the bench go play for him because he was such a superstar. He, of course, overruns the baseball and dives and it goes over the fence. This is the legend right here, ladies and gentlemen. The best left fielder. His first ever time actually playing left field because he always sat on the bench and made some other guy that looked like him go play left field. He gets another attempt and he... You know, running the opposite way that he's supposed to. And he lands kind of in front of him. Another run. He's going to show for his cannon. And, yeah. It takes, like, ah, two bounces. Still not a great cannon. So, after showing off his talent out in left field, the pitchers felt so bad for him because he was crippled. He sucked at fielding that this pitcher's never faced him before. Never seen what he could do. Oh, yeah. He hits home runs. That's... That's why his name is Steroids Pitcher. Stop leaving him pitches over the middle. I know he looks innocent, but seriously, he's not. He's a beast. He takes steroids. So, after another base hit, this dude is on a roll right now. He is the pink bat show, and he's cussing out the pitchers, talking about the wife's period. I don't know what this man is into, but with the pink bat, he will still 
go yard doesn't matter how manly he is his name is steroids he has a pink bat and he is cussing out everybody on the field fuck fuck you coach why am I not in the majors I hit bombs number 11 for him on the season and this lead has been cut to just six now So then after the game, the coach comes up to him, and I'm like, I'm sorry, you're not in the majors, but if you ever have a bad game again, don't go drinking. And so from that day on, steroids never went to the bar again, or so he thought. So finally, after months of asking, he finally gets moved up in the lineup because the coach felt bad for how he got drunk again on accident. So in his first up bat batting in the four-hitter spot, the, pi the pitcher still doesn't realize that he's a power hitter batting fourth because he thinks he broke his legs, he's short, he's black, he's French, he's everything that he doesn't want to see a crippled. But still, the pitcher leaves one over for him to jack. So Steroid stares down the black pitcher and says, Bye bye, birdie. See you in hell with this baseball. Let's go. Gone again. The coach is still taller than him, however, the third base coach always shrinks and turns black, whatever Steroids does, loses his feet, so does the coach, it's so weird in his life, his dad is such a nice So over time, his burntness became less burnt as he lost like two skin tones, he became light black, I know that's very racist, but he became light black and is not dark black from Africa. Steroid wouldn't have been able to hit the slow ass pitcher that throws 68 miles per hour, but the new short black somewhat French dude, he doesn't care. He'll disgrace the pitcher's family, jack one way out of the park, and just fucking hail Hitler everyone in the fucking stands. He's a madman. So Stuart is one for three in this game. He has two runners on base. He leaves a hanging curveball the 68 mile per hour. And since now he is somewhat black or really actually black, he is a speed demon. As you see, he's already at third. He just stands up to third. This is why he's black and a speed demon. So a couple days later, he is at his next game. And of course, he jacks one into the gap. He is black and fast as a fucking Jaguar. He's already at second by the time the center fielder reaches the ball. This time he will be safe because he is black and not white. What a man. So as you get a good glimpse of how ugly this man is now, the pitcher just stares at his eyeballs and they're like, what the fuck is that animal? So he gets confused, leaves one upstairs, and of course steroids, you know, does his thing, hits one over the fence, and of course he salutes the crowd with a hail hitler. And after two months of recovery from his burntness, he is now, of course, white again. Let's see if he still has the power of a black man. Oh wait, it's steroids. Of course he does. This baby is not gone. JK, you have to be black to hit home runs. So after realizing steroids is a fucking legend, the Astros finally called him up to the major leagues. So. On his first game, he's against the Seattle Mariners. I wonder if he'll do good. Of course he will. He's taking steroids and he's been jagging the ball. He's hot as a flame. So in steroids first ever played appearance, he's unable to talk to the pitcher because he's so afraid of this man. But he'll still swing at the first pitch and drives this one high and deep in the air. Does he have his first ever career hit? No! He's not black. He can't drive it over a major league fence. He, he's white. He recovered. But still the ugly motherfucker is back again for his second at bat. His team's down 3-4. to four. The first pitch he sees once again. He will jack this one. Except not very far. Like somehow the first baseman decides to go get it. He's half it way in the outfield. His first base coach is yelling to go to a second. The Houston Astros coaching is awful. So he's over 2 so far. His third at bat. Still, the first pitch he sees, he may sway. He may let it go because he hasn't had much, you know, luck with the first pitch. But still, it still swings. And, of course, he pops one up to the left fielder. He's still trying to go for two. I don't know what that dude's doing at second base. I don't know. So he's 0 for 3. Steroids is very tired and sad. He doesn't have his AAA coach to tell him that everything will be all right. So he's thinking about going down to the local Seattle bar and just getting his brains drunk as hell. I don't know if that made sense. But you know, unless he gets a base hit, he may just do that. And it may have consequences just like the other three times. So, 
He's down 0-2. He might as well just strike out and go get drunk. Because that's what steroids would do. But he didn't strike out at least. He popped out like a champion. And that's how he will go down in history. 0-4 in his only game in the major leagues. Because after that game, he went down to the local pub and got the drunk as he's ever been drunk. The next morning, he was still drunk and had a hangover. It was the worst he's ever been. So he had to fly to his game out in Kansas City. He took a private jet because the coaches didn't want him to be a disruption because he was such a wild child that he, on his private jet, he took control of the plane and crashed it into the Serbian mountain somehow. Nobody knows, but that's the legend of Stu